Hey guys, welcome back. It's you, dude, Maddie Ice again. And no, this is the one over deal. That this is, uh, <laughs> that, uh, so see, I was gonna make this a couple of days ago, and then I didn't. And then now it's May 7th, and yeah, so I got my hair cut, I got it dyed, and, uh, so I, so I tried to get it dyed blue, which, uh, so there's a reason for that. I'm gonna kind of explain that in a minute. But that May is Mental Health Review in this month, and, I, I just wanted to talk about it uh, this year, uh, which I didn't talk about last year, but I think I talked about it a couple years ago on this channel. But uh, that mental health is a is a big thing that's happening. They see, so they say about one in four people suffers some type of mental disorder, and that's a lot of people if you don't know. Like that's a lot of people, and uh, I did see that twenty six percent of Americans suffer from it, and then also. Uh, about eight, it was like 12 it was somewhere between 12 and 18 percent of people died due to something just connected to mental health last year and uh so i just want to talk about because it, it is such a prevalent thing i feel like nowadays because of technology there's more knowledge out there so that we know what to look for and things always change like like especially with mental health because there's so much we don't know about our brain. But, yeah, so it was... Uh, so May is Mental Health Awareness Month. So I just wanted to talk about that. And uh, that's why I dyed my hair blue. Because, uh... So blue is the color of... So that's the color of... Uh, so it's anxiety. So it's the color of that. And... But it's kind of greenish. So it's green is actually the color of mental health just in general. But blue is for anxiety, which I have. I have, uh... So, so, I have something called general anxiety disorder. So, it's something I was diagnosed with a few years ago. And uh, I just wanted to talk about it because I know it affects me personally because I deal with it pretty much every day. And I I'm sure if, you know, like obviously, like if you live with people or like be around people all the time, there's a good chance that you, that you know someone that has mental health issues or like you have something that, that you deal with every day. And I just wanted to talk about that and uh, just say something quick that like it's gonna be okay and it's okay to talk about some of your problems and talk about some of the issues because i think this like it's becoming such a big issue and more people are becoming accepting of it which i think it's a good thing <laughs> which i think we need like like that we just need more people to be more accepting and like try try to understand like it's kind of hard to understand for someone who doesn't have anxiety or depression or schizophrenia or bipolar like it like it's hard to understand from, like, from someone who does have a mental disorder, because the, because I know, because there's times where it's like I'll be freaking out or I'll say something, I'll be, and like no one else gets it, just because it's like, like you know, there's still a, a good like there's a good chunk of the population that doesn't have like mental illness, so doesn't understand kind of how our brain works. So yeah, that's why I want to say is like it's okay to have mental health issues, have anxiety, depression, bipolar, schizophrenia, just, you know, like, it's okay to suffer, like, I, 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 so, like, it's not okay to suffer, but, like, it's okay to have these things, and I just want people to talk about it, and I'm opening up with it, because I struggle with it, it's something I still do with all the time, and that's part of the reason I started a YouTube channel, is because it kind of gives me something to distract my brain from a little bit, if that makes sense. So, to talk about it, and, like, like, if you are going through a tough time, I'm sorry to hear that, like, try to talk to someone, you could talk to me, I'm always open to talk about it, and just try to work through it, because it's like, uh, yeah, so see, I said this a couple years ago in a video, life is all about mountains and valleys, and that, like, the, obviously the mountains are going to be your high points and the valleys are going to be your low points. And it's something that we all struggle through and that we all go through, that we all have our valleys, we all have our mountains. And it, if you're stuck in that valley right now, just look up and keep climbing. Like, that's all I'm going to say is, like, you kind of have to keep climbing. And I hope you can do it. And, like, hopefully, uh, just please reach out for help if you really, like, if there's something going on that, like, you don't think you can handle, please call for help. Because... Uh, call the suicide hotline which i will leave in the description of the video and you can reach out to me you can reach you know try to reach out to a family member or someone who also struggles 
with like mental illness or to someone just to talk to just be comfortable because that's important is to be comfortable through this because it's because it's never comfortable to be stuck in some of these places because i know like i know that all too well to be stuck in that dark place but yeah so that's pretty much all i wanted to say and uh so, so yeah, i hope everyone has a good may has a good summer has a good year and uh yeah till next time guys see ya